Well, what's up guys? Dave Moss Jr. here, checking in. Happy Veterans Day to all you who've served this beautiful country we call home here in America. Thank you for your service. Happy Veterans Day. Doing a 10-day checkup, check in on No Way November. I know a lot of people have been knocking it out. A lot of people have been struggling. And I just want to do a little weigh-in, a little check-in on this in-body scanner. I just crushed a workout. This time change sucks. Well, it doesn't really suck. But like, I miss coming out here when it's still dark. Sun's up now, it's coming up. So I'm gonna go ground and get my morning sun, but knocked out an hour workout. Been doing pretty good, getting my fasting done once a week. And uh, we're gonna go weigh in and check this thing out. Well, it's been about 10 days. Time to weigh in. All right, so just let the chickens out and uh, got, the, got what eggs we have for today. So been eating a lot of eggs on this diet. That's, that's for sure. A lot of eggs, a lot of butter. So that's been good. So I did weigh in. I did just get a workout. I'm getting some morning sun and I'm about to do some grounding. So to recap on No Way November, the No Way November challenge, it is 30 minutes of workout sweat every single day, no matter what. It is 10 minutes of morning sun and grounding every single day, no matter what. We did have a hurricane come through here yesterday is why there's stuff all down. Still got outside, still got grounded, still got some morning light. It wasn't really sunny, but that was fine. The whole, the hardest part of this whole thing is no seed oils. It's in everything. Like you gotta really be mindful on this, right? So no seed oils, minimal to no processed sugars and minimal to no refined carbohydrates. So that's the no way challenge for the most part. Obviously there's some other things, do an intermittent fast once a week, no bad habits, kicking a bad habit this whole month and then getting cold three days a week. So that's the no way challenge. Now I wanna go over my results from my weigh-in. So let's check this out. All right, so we use the in-body at my CrossFit gym. So I just wanna kinda highlight the last two, right? So first weigh in, I was 211 pounds, 106 pounds of muscle, 13.1% body fat. 10 days later, I've dropped a little bit. I'm 207 pounds, so that's cool. Dropped a little bit of muscle, just over a pound, 104 pounds, 104.7 stayed the same 13.1 percent body fat now typically before i'm gonna weigh in i'm gonna do a fast because i want to see like really highlighted results i have not fasted or done a substantial fast yet this week so this is like pure eating and we had a really good meal last night like a big meal healthy meal but a big meal so for me to drop weight that's great that's kind of what i hoped for dropped a little bit of weight Dropped a teeny bit of muscle. I'm not too worried or concerned about that. This whole week has been, we had a hurricane come through. So our, our gym was closed yesterday. So I'm having to figure out how to get sweaty without going to the gym. And it's been a lot of cardio. So my muscle mass has probably dropped off because we haven't been lifting as heavy. But my body fat, 13% still. That, that I'm happy about. I'm happy that I'm still 13. Obviously, I want to get down to like 10, 11%. I'm not eating small enough meals or I'm really not eating probably the right foods to lean out that much. I'm really, I'm not trying to get competition ready or anything like that. So I'm not super conscious of what I'm eating. I'm just trying to not eat seed oils and I'm trying to eliminate processed sugar and refined carbohydrates as much as possible. But for me to stay at 13%, literally the same body fat for 10 days, I'll take that. That's not bad. Dropped a little bit of actual weight. So I'll take that too. All in all, so far it's been a pretty successful no way November challenge. If you are staying on this and doing it yourself, post some comments below. Let me know how it's going and check it out on, check me out on Instagram and let's like keep in touch. Let me follow you so I can see what you're doing. My Instagram is right here. Boom. Other than that, hey, <clears throat> appreciate you guys for watching and doing this with me. Hope you all have a great day and God bless. Some hurricane aftermath, but it's time to get cold. <sighs> Woo. Nothing beats 40 degree water. <sighs> and a continuous icy cold, a cold plunge. So if you're new to this channel and this is like your first video you've ever watched, I'm sorry. You're probably not interested because it's like, the heck are you doing? No way challenge, what is this? But um, I like to cold plunge. And a little bit ago, I created my own like DIY cold plunge. It's one of my most watched videos and helped hundreds of people build their own cold plunges using the same high-tech components that the very expensive cold plunges that you can buy and have to wait three to four months for sell. Now, since then, Ice Barrel was super cool and sent me this barrel 
which um, I'm super grateful for because honestly, like I saw the ice barrel, I was kind of interested in it, but I was like, man, I can't spend that much money and then have to still go get ice. However, this is the most comfortable cold plunge that I've ever been in. I like the thought, and, and you kind of think like, if you're gonna get into an ice barrel, like one, it's hard to get into because it's a little high and it's kind of like, you know, high and tall. Are you gonna have to have a seat in there? Like, how are you gonna sit? What? Well, at the end of the day, like it's actually really comfortable. You kind of are in like a little floating squat in here. I added my own chiller and I bored these holes, which you can see the tubing coming in, which keeps the water cycling at all times. So I have cold 40 degree water anytime I wanna come into this thing. And uh, highly recommend the ice barrel. It's super comfortable. It's got a lid, keeps the bugs and keeps the debris out. We had a hurricane come through here literally yesterday and my water's beautiful, it's clean and it's cold and I love it. So I'm gonna sit in here for three to four minutes, do a little, uh, little ice bath, one of my three for the week. And then we're gonna go to work and have a great day. So once again, I hope you guys enjoy this stuff. I hope you, uh, you know, try some of it yourself and I hope you have a great day. So God bless. Oh yeah, and if you're interested in getting yourself an ice barrel, they've given me a discount code that I can share. So I'll put that link in uh, the description of this right down below.